what's up guys it's Cyan and this is a quick tutorial video on how to do windowed borderless gaming for um, Rome Total War 2 or any other game in general that has windowed mode um, so first I'm going to show you um, what it does and yeah why you want it pretty much and then I'm going to show you how to download it and how to install it which is really easy then at the end I'm going to throw in a little bit of extra information for people who have dual monitors like me because it doesn't quite work without um, a little bit of editing the settings and all. So anyways, the reason you want it is because when you just go into normal windowed mode on Rome Total War 2, there's this dead space down here. If it's not centered perfectly, then you lose your mouse. And if it's not full screen, then you'll, again, lose your mouse off the side of it and it just doesn't work in this crap. And, but you want it because you want to be able to alt tab without the entire screen going away. And so all that you do is, let me pull up the program here quick, I forgot to open it up before. Um, here, you just double click on it to start it. You can't see it because I'm on my other screen. Double click on it to start it and then once it starts up, bam. It fits this game to the full screen. Everything is all set and you know it fits perfectly and it's really nice and then you just alt tab and bam you're to the desktop it works super well so anyways that's about what it does then I'll go ahead and show you how to download it so you're just gonna need to go to this link um, I'll put it in the description and it's a program all you do is um, click here and it will download it right there download it a couple times you can see um, <laughs> And then this is also the form for it, so if you have um, bugs in it or if you want to find what other games it works with, um, it could work with games that aren't on this list. This is just a list that it's known to work with and a few games that it doesn't work with. And so and this is some more detailed instructions if you want those. So once it's opened, you can just click on this or find the folder where it downloaded it to. And then, again, it's just you should know how to extract a file if not it's really not hard just extract it to wherever you want to you can just make a random folder and put it in there so for example I would already have it here but you would just grab these and you could hit extract to or you can just click and drag to here it'll do it but I already have it there so I'm not gonna and then you're done because it doesn't take any any uh, installation or anything it'll be pre-installed and that's it and then once you have that done, all you need to do, yeah. okay, I guess this wants to be here. Just click here and it'll be, once you start it up, click here and you'll see that it'll be running in uh, your tray here. Just click on it and there are all these options. To add a window, you hit F3. So you would click on Rome Total War while it's running and just click F3 and bam, it would be applied to that game. And then also you would want to open game settings and set them um, to this pretty much. This will be empty, you want to set these because when you start off it'll initially be set a little bit to the side usually. So just punch in, um, probably this will be your monitor resolution but just find out whatever the resolution is for your monitor and type those in and it'll center it because it'll be a little off centered by default. Then just hit apply and save and then bam, it's all done. And so that is it for if you just have a single monitor, um, leave a like if it helped you out. And also, credit goes to Zareept is the one that um, showed it to me. His YouTube channel is pretty awesome, so check it out if you want to. It's just called Zareept. Um, it's an awesome YouTube channel, and I found it out from him. And so now I'm going to go into things you want to do if you have dual monitors. And the issue you'll have with dual monitors is my mouse just slides from one monitor to the other and so if I go to move to the edge of the screen while I'm in game it'll get lost on my other screen and I won't be able to rotate the screen with that so all you gotta do is go uh, yeah, go to the control panel and then just go to hardware and sound connect to an external display just drag this down so that only the corners are touching hit apply bam it's all set up and then you won't lose it when you just go to the side of the screen. It doesn't get lost. It's staying on. You can't really see, but it's staying on. And you only slide to the other screen when you go down in this corner. And in-game, you don't often go down in this corner. So it won't be an issue. And 
yeah, that fixes it for dual screen monitor setup. So anyways, again, thanks for watching, and I hope it helped you guys out.